Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meadzy69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to be playing my free-to-play account. Yes, it's uh, an account that I haven't played, uh, actually, for a very long time. Uh, I just don't get time to, you know? I don't get time uh, to play my own account, let alone uh, a, a free-to-play account, another account uh, to grind. I'd love to have more time because I've been playing this. I've Actually, I've set this up a few years ago, but I just haven't got as far as I wanted. I was hoping by now I'd have a few tier 10s but currently I've only got one um, because I, I haven't played it for months and months and months so basically what we're going to talk about is how to play for free how can you play this game for free now the number one rule in my opinion is use the resources that wargaming are giving you they do give you plenty of resource, uh, resources uh, and what I mean by that they give you the opportunity to win things uh, like um, premium time uh, you've got the battle pass uh, here. Yes, you don't have to pay for it. Not this one, sorry. Uh, you don't have to pay for it, but even the free one, you can still get three things. You know, the top one, you can get credits, you can get free XP, uh, you can get kit coins. Uh, so you're still able to, to, to earn things for free. And then again, use your resources wisely so if you go on to certif my certificates at least i do have quite a few certificates uh, that i can use uh, so we've got a few premium time there so like here we've got 10 days of premium now i'm not going to use that if i'm not going to play outright for 10 days straight uh, the same as some of these one day is okay if you're looking at you know what i'm going to play uh, my free to play account today uh, for the whole day then yeah this could be worth it but for me i normally only use these uh, so I've got nine hour premium time, so you can, I think you can get lower as well. Uh, so I think they're perfect. You've got seven day ones. Of course, you've got the certificates that you can earn. Uh, normally when buying crates, and again, you can earn gold, uh, which is how I got these. Uh, so you earn gold and you open crates. Uh, and that's what I did on this account to try and get a free tank in a, in a, in a crate. So, uh, also try and get them free tanks you know wargaming are doing an event right now uh, so yes it's not major tank but you know the uh, the panther uh, britannia you can get that for free uh, and that's exactly what i did to some of my um other tanks as well i think i've sold a few of them no i didn't so all these tanks are all my premiums that i got for free now that's quite even so i even though i haven't really played my account that is still quite a few premium tanks um and you could you could have got much more on this if you just play your free to play account all the time you could have got much more on this because wargaming do that quite regularly you know they do events where you can get your tanks and of course my favorite so far is of course the 50 tp prototype which was a clan uh, reward tank it's a tier 9 um unfortunately i couldn't do it i didn't really have time to play it for the the waffle the ritter uh, but that would again that would have been a great addition uh to my collection so again use all the resources available so currently i am up to tier 9 i've been for the e75 for a very very long time uh so much that i get bored of playing it but you can see the upgrades i've got 110 uh, 000 xp for this tank um so yeah I've, you know not too bad on top of that i've got forty five thousand uh, free xp of course i need around two hundred and sixty thousand xp to get the the e100 so i'm still quite a way off uh but yeah if you do the best thing with um a free to play account if you're earning that premium tanks as well like the 50 tp uh, you could play that you could play that you can earn free xp and also you can earn the credits because i've only got four million credits and that's not a lot uh, and premium tanks will really help with that so uh, yeah use the resources use the resources wisely uh, and then you will you, will, you you can grind very very easily you know wargaming again do the thing where you can get um certificate so you can knock some knock some xp like 50 percent off or 20 25 percent off or whatever uh so you you might be able to get those as well so it is a very easy game people might not believe it but it is a very very easy game to play for free honestly you don't have to spend money on this game if you don't want to yes of course you're not going to get the really nice premium tanks like the the strvk or the um 
Object 268 version 4, or the, you know, th there's other tanks out there, but uh, you're not going to get them for free, of course not, but there is ways of getting that gold, and if, again, if you, if you watch all the gold videos, there's, I don't do it to be honest, which I should, but again, I don't play the, the, the account as often as I'd like to, uh, but you can watch gold for free, you know, you can, you can watch ads for free, sorry, and get gold. If you collected all that gold, you're looking at like one tier 10 tank every single year. Uh, if you just watch them videos, if you've got time to watch the videos, uh, you can get a tier 10 tank for free every single year uh, because you've earned that gold for free. It hasn't cost you a single thing. So th there is ways around it. You know, there's people in the game that are really, really good. You know, he's Royal Fatness, hasn't spent ever spent uh, a penny on the game. And look how good he is and look how many tanks he has. And of course, that he plays, uh, used to play tournaments. You, you used to be able to win gold. Um, so yeah, he has managed to get gold, but he's done it in, in a way that he could do it for free uh, so there's plenty of ways plenty plenty of ways to be able to get tanks for free uh, and to have fun on a free to play account you don't have to spend money if you don't want to um, and again doesn't mean that you're going to get bad win rate doesn't mean that you're going to get bad average damage um, I would always if you are looking at sort of setting up a, a new a new free to play account or if you are sort of new to the game um, and you want to concentrate not just so much on win rate but on things like average damage then what you need to do really is grind the lines pretty quickly uh, grind the lower lines and don't play them until you absolutely have to or you know you can have a few games but like the lower premium tanks that I've got, I've got the Rudy and stuff like that, that I don't really play it because I want to, on this account, concentrate on my average damage. And I'm not going to be able to do that playing a tier 6 or a tier 7 or a tier 5. I'm going to do that by playing this tank right here. Um, and on top of that, if you haven't, if you are playing, if you do the free-to-play events like in, in the clan events like this, um, so not only are you going to be able to get uh, win rate if you're good enough or if your team's good enough, not only are you going to be able to get average damage up, but also you're going to be able to get the free XP and the credits whilst doing that. So you could do it all at the same time. Uh, so on, again, watch what you're doing in game. Don't just spam premium. Uh, don't just spam the uh, premium shells. Only use them if you absolutely have to. Only use your consumables and stuff like that if you absolutely have to. Uh, and then you know, before no, before you know it, you, you've earned quite a lot of credits, and um, your free XP will gain as well. So you can, like now for me, for example, like I'm up to tier nine. Uh, I'm on the E75, so I can rotate. I can rotate it, you know. Instead of just spamming the E75, instead of just spamming the 50TP prototype, uh, I can, you know, I can play them both. So you're not just playing the same thing over and over again. And not only that, I do have a tier 10. I've got the Leopard One, uh, so I can also play that as well. Yes, you're not going to earn as many credits, but if you do well and you do a lot of damage, you get a mastery badge. You might earn 300, 400,000 credits. Uh, so yeah, it's. There is ways to do it. There really is ways uh, to to play the game for free, and that is something that Wargaming has done for a, a very long time. I mean, look, you can watch the adverts, you container for ads. Um, so yeah, there, there's loads of ways. There really is loads of ways that you can play this game for free. And not only that, but one thing I've also missed out: if you don't want to, if you've got a a tank, say let's go to tier eight tiger i've got the t i haven't got the tiger completely stock but just say i've just bought the tiger or i've just bought the e75 and it is completely completely stock you don't have credits or you don't have uh, free xp to get the next gun uh, and of course if you don't really want to be playing a tank stock because that way you, you're not going to be as effective in the game just head over here and play something like Big Boss. Whatever special battle is there, Mad Games, Big Boss, you know, Uprising, whatever it is, play that because you can earn all of that and it does not go towards your stats. So theoretically, you can just constantly play uh, these battles, have zero zero battle count on your actual profile but yet you're going to get enough xp to be able to get the next tank so you just use that you know big boss mode everything like that the special modes they're there for a reason uh use it you know definitely use it because it will help you and it will help you very very quickly but uh yeah there's it's as i've said before 
it's a very, very good game to play for free. Even though some people might say it's pay to win. Yeah, there are, of course, there are some premium tanks that are overpowered. Um, but, you know, it doesn't mean it's not a free to play game. Uh, and Wargaming do offer a lot of events. I mean, look, we've got four things at the moment. We've got the Battle Pass. Uh, we've got this where you can earn um, you can earn a crate there. You can earn the Britannia. And also with the, this, you know, you can get the Tier 10 Tank Research Certificate. Uh, and you're you know which means you can get a lot uh, a big discount off your tier 10 tank uh, so use that you know and also you've got the tier uh, the tier 9 the tier 8 the tier 7 collect all these because they really will help you uh, and again we've got events like this the the quest try and do the quest if you can uh, but to be honest the for me, especially quests like this, it's not really important because it doesn't really help you. You're just getting uh, camouflages and stuff. Uh, but yeah, there, there's loads of different ways uh, that you can uh, that you can get this tank for free. And again, uh, the re Retrotopia, which is going to end soon, but I'm sure they're going to bring another one out. Uh, collect the kit coins, you know. Collect them. Do the do the battle pass. Collect the you, know, you don't collect a lot, but I mean, 1,300 up the top there. Uh, so yeah, you can still get 1,300 every single month, which I think that's about it. Uh, but it will help you. It will help you along the way. But uh, it is a free-to-play game. I don't care what people uh, say. It is 100% free-to-play. Uh, so hopefully my next video on my free-to-play account will be me getting the E100 finally. But I've got to play it quite a bit. So hopefully I will promise to play it a little bit more. And then I'll hopefully the next video will be of my new Tier 10. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know if you're a free-to-play player. Are you a free-to-play player? Uh, or are you one of those that just spend a lot of money because on my account to be fair I've spent a lot of money but uh, I'd like to know how many of you guys are actually free to play completely you've spent nothing let me know in the comments below but for now I hope you enjoyed today's video I'm Meadsy69 and I'll catch you all soon bye bye